I don't know about y'all, but these cowardice, soft little beta dudes tick me off. What's a straight white man good for? Straight white men? Yeah. Not a lot. How's it going? My name is Jess, and this really? is Reason. So here in Shoreditch asking people, are straight white men the problem? What are straight white men good for? What is that? Ooh, that's a hard one. I don't know. <laughs> uh... How are you going to ask a not straight white man with big old hoop earrings what are straight white men good for? That's kind of... A little contradictive, you might not get an accurate answer. Do you think straight white men are important? Oh. Do you think straight white men are important? No. <laughs> <laughs> We're all fucking trash. I mean, sometimes I like, like how rational sometimes they might be, like, really straightforward, like, uh, even about feelings, they are more, like, practical sometimes. What are straight white men good for? Uh being rude and um, making you feel uncomfortable. What would you say that they're good for? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, don't know. Let them hang, man. What are you doing? Your woman is right there. Like, how do you even have a woman is the real question. That's three dudes in a row with their women right next to them. Like, what about you gave that girl an impression that you can provide and defend the people you love? Because good Lord, like th there's no indication of it. You're just throwing yourself under the bus, not standing up, not standing firm and being a man. What are you actually doing? Uh, be bold, be courageous. Are straight white men oh. important? I mean, they think they're very important. Um, you know, they're just as important as everyone else, but I do. Sometimes I get a bit inflated sense of <laughs> self. Do you think they're important? No. So, what would you say they're good for? Um, I, I mean, they've got value, obviously, but the problem is that it's, it's been it, known huh? exclusively, so they're, they're, they're good at things but just not everything all the time do you think they're good for in society if they give them their bank card that's pretty good <laughs> that they occupy too many positions of power yes like what uh <laughs> what am i allowed to say what do we want to say Be um straight white old men in government i don't think have a clue on how people want to live or need to live do you think there are many straight white men in government I believe there is, yeah. I believe really? quite high up on what you're seeing on the media. Um, there are, it's a lot more sort of, um, they're the ones that dictate to us and they're the ones that tell us what we should and shouldn't be doing and what we're allowed to do and what we're not allowed to do. What are straight white men good for in society? Wait, before she goes again, before he makes himself look like an absolute imbecile and a fool again, government officials and media people, they don't depict all straight white men. All straight men in general are extremely important, extremely valuable. You can clearly tell when, when you see these couples right here, who wears the pants in the relationship. It's completely, you know what, backwards, twisted, not the way God designed it to be. God created the structure as God, Jesus Christ, the Holy Spirit, the triune God, then man, that was Adam, then Eve, not, you know, not Emily, not, uh, not Arnold, not Steve, nothing like that. It was God, Adam, Eve, children that's how it's supposed to be these people got it all twisted women running everything women r running the world but this is not gonna work this never works it never will work it's not the structure that it was designed to be what are straight white men good for in society diversity oh <laughs> do you think straight white men hold too many positions of power to in society yeah what are straight white men good for i don't know sometimes they bash out a good few pop hits but it's Shawn Mendes, you know. Do you think that the system is against honest. anyone who isn't a straight white male? Uh, I mean, I would say it's like a system based on like, uh, you know, heteronormative hegemony and like binary system. So they expect that a certain body inform a certain behavior, which I feel it's the mistake. People I know, like nope. it run businesses are straight white men. Why do you think that is? It's just the way the system's built, I think. How? <laughs> These are hard questions, Reese. You gotta help no, me. No, it's all new. Why do you think that there are so many men in positions of power? 
it's that old school elite, isn't it? It's that's what's grown up, and it's still that stigma of that women aren't as powerful, women aren't as. Good. We're getting there. We are slowly getting nope. there, but we're nowhere near where we should be. It should be equals, not just men. What's wrong with you people? Was that a fake video? Am I being punked? Where's, where's Ashton Kutcher? Is he coming out of the woodwork anywhere soon? All my real fellas and ladies out there watching, please let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section after just witnessing this ludicrous craziness. Where were these people's fathers growing up? Because wow, these women have absolutely zero respect or honor for their fathers, brothers, cousins, uncles, and so on. Absolutely none. This is pure insanity. You know, the dads that were supposed to dish out some butt whoopings when you acted up as a child, because clearly that didn't happen. That's nowhere to be found. It's, it's very sad and I get it. My dad was basically a donor. He didn't get me any sort of positive example no values nothing like that growing up but God got a hold of me I found the Lord I found faith but these people they're lost they're clearly not on the the, the path to eternal salvation just yet pray for them y'all I don't I don't hate anybody like this I hate nobody but I pray for them because they're clearly lost they're stranded their father is the devil they just don't know what reality is but it's people like this that test my Christianity and thank God the Lord the Messiah Jesus Christ is the good shepherd yesterday today and forever thank goodness that he came for the weak and the sick the confused that we see right here pray for him y'all pray for them to find truth and honor and dignity and that they find salvation because right now they're lost on behalf of myself as a mostly white 28 year old straight married christian man i would like to publicly apologize for absolutely nothing because I've never held a prejudice against any fellow man or woman based on how they look. I've never held a slave, none of that stuff. Now, was there a time and place where racial tension was at an all time high? Absolutely. Nobody with any sense would deny that, but you can't keep clinging to the past forever. You can't keep looking in the rear view mirror forever. At some point, you got to look at what's in front of you, the front windshield and start pushing forward, start moving into in a direction of pro progress, of change, of valuing the things that you can control. I can't change yesterday. I can't change five minutes minutes ago, 50 years ago. I can't go back to the beginning of time when Adam and Eve ate of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. I can't change any of that. It's sin. We've all sinned in the past. We all got demons that we that hopefully you have repented of and you've been forgiven of in Christ. But just because the 50s and 60s, the racial divide between blacks and whites and, and all ethnicities at some point in time that they had a divide, that doesn't that doesn't mean that it needs to be brought into today because America is a nation today. You know, the country I live in, that's the only thing I can speak on, not where this video was shot or what they view, but this country where I live, the home of the free because of the brave, any straight man or woman of any creed, we have the best freedoms in the entire world. If those people got a problem with, with where they live at, Come on over to this side of the pond. See what things are really looking like. Where we've had a black president, where we've had a, a black vice president, where we have black athletes and celebrities and entertainers that get paid absurd amounts of money for, for doing a service. For It's insane that these people think that straight white men are the problem when any color creed can go out there and get it however they want to if they're willing to sacrifice and put in the grind time, put in the work and the, the dedication. But no, people want to always cling to this victim mindset, cling to the past and not accept what reality actually is today. When you take a step back and really acknowledge the disrespect and level of ignorance and arrogance that are in these people's statements saying that straight white men serve no purpose, if you really take a take a look at history, there's a lot of straight white dudes that have died that are still living today that literally have built the modern world that these people selfishly benefit from and enjoy every single day. They take it for granted. Matter of fact, as a mostly white straight man myself, I like to consider myself a contributor to society by simply not being a victim, pessimistic, parent parasite like these people. I like to help continue to push the world in a positive direction and keep the world turning and help to produce and instill values in the next generation by continuing to improve their lives. But what are these people doing? What are they actually doing to provide value and uplift society? Absolutely nothing. Not an ounce of value to uplift society has these people provided. They keep wasting their time, their energy, their efforts, and a lot of brain cells wasted on color, wasted on pigmentation or lack thereof. Guess what? Spoiler alert, this might hurt some feelings, but we're all part of the one race, the human race. We all originate from the same two people, Adam and Eve. This identity politics keeps on being the real prejudice that hinders society today. It should be about somebody's words, their deeds, their actions, the content of their character, like the late great MLK Jr. said. But these people, they don't, they don't want to judge people by that. They want to latch on to this victim woe is me mentality and keep on pushing that to the end of time. But it just doesn't work. What we really need, and I know this is going to ruffle some feathers, but it needs to be said, we need a whole lot more straight 
conservative men of any pigmentation in America and clearly across the pond as well to lead people in the right direction. We're called to be strong and to build resilient families and churches and communities and not let these little boys be groomed into this super beta male not having the ability to stand up and speak out with truth, with vigor. We're letting these little boys get groomed and instead we need to develop bold and courageous future leaders. It's our duty and responsibility as straight men to fight with dignity because guess what? If things hit the fan, these rainbow warriors and these Fruit Loops aren't going to be the ones on the front lines defending on oncoming attacks from foreign invaders. It's not going to happen. What are you going to do? You go. You don't even believe in the in the right to bear arms, so you're just going to smack them with your Gucci purse or or chuck your high heel at them. How's that going to work out? I can. My goodness. Yeah, it's that's going to work. God bless your soul because you know that won't end well. You need straight men. You need warriors. You need patriots to stand up and fight for whatever evil knocks at the door. You need us. So for anybody watching, brothers and sisters, just in case you haven't noticed, it's a battle out here. And I have the solution, which can be found in the Bible, basic instructions before leaving earth. Acts 3 verse 19 says, repent then and turn to God so that your sins may be wiped out, that times of refreshing may come from the Lord and that he may send the Christ appointed for you, Jesus, whom heaven must receive until the time for restoring all the things about which God spoke by the mouth of his holy prophets long ago. So what we need to do is put on the full armor of God and keep pushing back and judging sin with righteousness. That's what we're called to do, to hate sin. And yet I pray for these confused individuals to be born again in Christ like I am, because no matter what's going on on earth, the most high is always going to get his praise and work all things out to serve his kingdom. But that's all I got for today. I know it was kind of a long one, but if you enjoyed it, you got some value from it. Don't forget to smash that like button. Subscribe if you're not already. Ring that notification bell so you get notified anytime I post a video, just in case YouTube forgets to let you know. If you like what I'm doing over here, you like how I always stand firm in God's word and how I share how he changed my life, my testimony, you can always support the channel by getting awesome designs like this made by my lovely wife tons of american christian freedom apparel over on her etsy store she makes it she even has tumblers available as well this says we the people she's got matthew 514 be the light she's got all of that y'all go check it out as well as all the other ways to support in the description section you can buy me a coffee you can tap the thanks button here on youtube you can join the patreon family you don't got to do any of that at all just showing up i appreciate you i love you i'll be praying for you this entire chaotic world that we're living in and and all of that but until next time Godspeed, I'm gone.